This video will examine the external anatomy of the cockroach and then demonstrate how to dissect the cockroach in order to examine the internal anatomy. Before you begin, make sure that you have gathered all of the necessary equipment. This includes your dissection tray and blue pad, a pair of scissors, forceps, a probe, pins, and of course, a cockroach. The cockroach that is being used in this video is the peppered cockroach, Archimandrita tessellata. We will start by examining some features of the external anatomy. The cockroach is divided into three distinct body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. There are three pairs of jointed legs on the three segments of the thorax. Taking a closer look at one of the legs, you can see the various distinct parts. Looking at the head, you should be able to identify the antennae, pronotum, and compound eyes. The antenna, consisting of the scape and flagellum, is a sensory organ that cockroaches use to explore the world around them. Let us now examine the dorsal side. There is less visible on this side, but you can see the pronotum, elytra, and maybe the ends of the wings sticking out. The two elytra, or forewings, cover and protect the two wings found underneath, but these cockroaches do not fly. Looking at a cockroach with the wings and pronotum removed, you can see the segments of the dorsal plate called the tergum. The segments are known as tergites, with epiproct being the terminal tergite. On the right, you can see a tergum that has been separated from the rest of the cockroach. The sex of the cockroach can be distinguished by looking at the size, with the females being larger and wider, as well as differences at the tip of the abdomen. Both males and females have two sensory structures, known as circe, on the epiproct, while males also have two styli. To prepare for dissection, place the cockroach dorsal side up. Using scissors, cut off the elytra and wings close to their bases. Cut the pronotum away from the neck. Insert your scissors between the last abdominal segment and cut towards the head along the side of the exoskeleton. Do this along both sides. Using forceps, Hold the epiproct and carefully lift from the posterior end forward, removing the dorsal portion, or tergum, while leaving the anus and hindgut. Place the tergum on its dorsal side. The heart chambers should be visible. You should also be able to see the trachea, which look like shiny white branching tubes. Put aside the tergum and pin the cockroach ventral side down. The whitish matter surrounding the gut is the fat body. If it is a female cockroach, you may see the oothica containing yellowish eggs in the abdominal cavity. Before removing the fat body, it is best to locate the other structures so as not to damage any organs. The esophagus can be found near the head. Once it has been identified, the tube of the digestive tract can be followed all the way to the anus. Using forceps or a bent probe, the fat bodies around the digestive tract can now be carefully removed to expose the esophagus and crop. Using a teasing needle or dissecting probe, tease apart the coiled dissection tract. Now that the dissection has been completed, you should be able to identify the various parts of the digestive tract. These parts include the esophagus, crop, proventriculus, gastric cica, ventriculus, ileum, and colon. At this point, your dissection is complete, but feel free to continue to examine your specimen and see what else you can identify.